Hello, everybody. This is Tanya with Experience Autism Alliance. And today is our first day of us starting our video series. And I have Christy Kamo with us. She is a occupational therapist with True Blue Therapy. And she has an amazing program that she created called High Five. And so today with our series, we are going to interview her and ask some questions about OT, her background, and everything we need to know about her High Five program. So Christy, how are Hello you today? everybody. I'm very excited to be here with you yes. guys. I'm so excited too. And I hope I can answer some questions and maybe together we can come up with some fun ideas to help our kids. Oh yeah, I 100% believe you will. I'm going to give just a quick backstory of how I know Christy. So Christy is my son's occupational therapist. She has been with him since he was what, three years old? Three? A baby. A long time. A baby. 17, 17 now. And so she is fantastic. Her business is great. All of her therapists are wonderful. And I absolutely adore this lady and love what she does. So it is an honor to have you as our first guest today. So thank you. I'm honored to be here. And as I always say, I would not be doing any of this if I didn't have amazing parents. Door and try harder and are creative, super creative in dealing with the challenges that you guys do. So kudos for all my parents. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let's get it started. Um, the first question I kind of want to just the main first question was it's going to be, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, Christy? Okay, this March, I'll be celebrating 30 years of America. I've been living here for 30 years, but I am originally from Brazil. That's where I did all my training. And since I moved here, I've always had this dream about starting my own business. And America is the place where I was always well embraced. Mm -hmm. Everybody believed me, and I cannot thank the Americans enough for embracing me, who I am, and what I bring to, to the country. And 20 years ago, I started True Blue Therapy, and I've always had a passion for aquatic therapy. So that's how I started. And we grew into having OT, PT, speech, the clinical setting, mm -hmm. but our heart still is in the aquatic settings. And I've had an amazing ride because, again, as I say, I have amazing parents. And I learned, I learned a lot in school, but I learned more with my kids and with the parents of my kids. Sometimes I say to them, to Tanya, to all of you guys, when I grow up, I want to be like you. Oh. <laughs> if I would be able to do this, yeah. you guys show up again and again and you know, the arena is there, you are facing all your challenges and you fall on your face and you stand up again and you come smiling, celebrating all the small progress of the children. So that's what I love about my job is to see you guys shining. So that's an honor to be enjoying this ride and having you guys there. Oh, okay. So since uh, before COVID, I should say, I've done a lot of traveling to underprivileged countries. They don't have anything. We are so fortunate here that we have a lot of support, a lot of resources, and most of these other countries don't. So every time I would go visit, I, was, I would always try to leave something behind that they could use when I wasn't there. And it never failed to be the problem with behavior. How do I handle a situation when I feel like this child is really pushing my buttons or the child is super frustrated or the child is hurting himself, all these things that the parent feel powerless. So I always done a little lecture, a little fun get together. Then eventually I decided to put in a PowerPoint and every time I went there, I would do a presentation and they would keep the PowerPoint to keep on going with the strategies. And it never failed. Every time I finished uh, a presentation, they would come to me and hug me and say, now I have something to do today. Yes. You me some tools, some strategies that I can use today, I feel that I have a little more power. Mm -hmm. And that's what spoke to my heart. Knowing that the parent now has some strategies that they can use. And then as, you know, this has been like eight years ago when I started this, 
And then somebody said, what about doing this training for us here in America? We also could use some. Do do? <laughs> and then we, I put together something and I started going to daycares and going to parent meetings to do this. Mm -hmm. And COVID started and I had to change my game. Shut it down, yeah, yeah. I can no longer go to all these places. So I had the idea of putting the same training that I've been doing for eight years in different ways of doing it to try to do it in an online format. Yeah. That way I would make little videos people could watch and do at their own pace what they what i've been doing you know going for four hours staying with a with a group you can now access and do this at your pace whenever it suits you so this is how high five high five was created long ago but the online format is brand new true blue is 20 years old but high five is our new baby so oh, yeah. we are excited to have a virtual baby. Oh, I love it. And I, I that's great because it's like you kind of have to change with the times. And so you can. Yes, we are going to grow. Yes, we're exactly. We're going to stay stuck. We're going to grow with the changes. Yes. And so where is True Blue location? True Blue is in the Varico area. Mm -hmm. And uh, we offer OTPT and speech services. And of course, we, we are very big on aquatic therapy. And we have all disabilities. We, we only work with the pediatric population, zero to 21. And we offer the classical therapy services, but we also offer the aquatic, which is something that is very unique to this area. A lot of people travel to come and see us because it's kind of challenging to find aquatic services. Oh, yeah. Even though in Florida, we have a lot of water, yeah. don't have a lot of aquatic therapy services, especially for children in the area. So it's been very good for me to see the progress we've made, not only in the different settings, but to see the kids growing and utilizing the, the intervention of aquatic therapy to make some good gains. And also because we live in, a, in an area with a lot of water, yes. it's very important to teach the, the kids to swim. So not only we do therapy, and part of the therapy is also to do water safety skills. And we try to maximize that so the parents are a little more relieved when they take a kid to a birthday party that is a pool or go to the beach or whatever, whatever they do. It's a, it's a relief to be able to have a kid who is water safe. Oh, yeah. It's life changing. It's, it is life changing. It's, yes. It's, it's, you can enjoy, you go to the pool. And I know that um, Avery, he can swim. We go to the beach, he can swim, the lake. He loves it. He's, he's a little fish. And yeah, and a lot of, of the kids on the spectrum, they are drawn to water. Yes. There's something about the water that they can't help, but they want to go there. Mm -hmm. And these kids are very speedy. They yes. run crazy. <laughs> so it's when you have a three-year-old who is drawn to water and he's not water safe and you don't know that there is a lake at right. the park, it's very scary. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. the water has been our main concern. But again, today we're going to talk more about the, the high five, but I always want to remind you all, the water safety is so important. Even if you don't come to us, please remember to address the needs of your child when it comes to water safety. It's yes. super important. There's always a YMCA that will offer you scholarships, mm -hmm. your kid, get what he or she needs in terms of being safe in the water. Yeah. So we'll roll right into, tell us what is High Five program? Okay. High Five was born because we had a need for it. Right. I didn't intend to create High Five. Mm -hmm. It created itself with the necessity of give parents some power into right. dealing with the challenging behaviors. We all know, we all parents, we all know how challenging behaviors can drive you bananas. Yes. And some days you do great, some days not so great. Depends on your, what's going on in your own life as a parent. You could be having all the other stresses, financial stresses, emotional stresses, health-related stress, whatever it is, the child will still behave like the child will behave. Mm -hmm. So the behavior that we see sometimes 
we only see the behavior and we see, is this child really trying to just push my buttons? What's wrong with, oh, I just can't do it. He just knows exactly how to push my buttons. Well, the way he knows that is because his sensory system is not always performing the way it should. So the reason for high five is to show parents, caregivers, educators, grandparents, whoever is in the life of a child. And when I say child, not necessarily a special needs child. Any child who offers behaviors that pushes your buttons. Okay. Okay. Any child that offers behaviors that prevents that child from moving forward and having a fun, relaxed experience in, at the park, at the community center, at a social gathering. So it doesn't have to be for special needs. Is any child who is not well adjusted right. with behavior. So what we do is, I, I kind of go into the sensory system. I show a little bit of every sensory system, even though we all know the five senses briefly, but what I do is I in depth explain a little bit of each sense and how it impacts the, the interaction of the child in the, in, the, in the environment. When your sensory system is not well adjusted, your body will respond in a not very well adjusted way. Let's say, I'll give an example for myself because I can relate to that. Glare bothers me a lot. Okay. If I go to the beach and there's a lot of glare going on, I won't be able to focus on the conversation. I will lose my, my place when I'm walking because I'm always, when I get annoyed. Mm-hmm. If I have three hours, by the end of the three hours, I am irritable and I'm short-tempered, but I know that about myself. So what do I do? I bring a visor, I bring sunglasses, I have a great time. Let's take that, yeah. A child's point of view. The child doesn't know to get sunglasses or visor or say, mom, the glare bothers me if glare is this problem, or if the sand is the problem, or whatever you go, or the noise is the problem, or this tactile input is a problem. It's very hard for a child to verbalize that. So when the system takes that glare that is annoying, that makes him irritable and he doesn't know how to handle it. He will scream, he will be fussy, he will try to bite you or whatever it is that the behavior that escalates. The bottom line is the sensory system doesn't like the way the glare comes his way and he doesn't know how to adjust. So sometimes the way to adjust is to put his head right into your belly and try to bullhead you and you think, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah. Well, I'm actually trying to get the sun from not mm-hmm. hit his face. And you are reading this as he's being aggressive, he's pushing me, he's buttheading me. No, maybe it's just a glare, yeah. but we don't understand what's behind the behavior. So this is what I'm trying to do, shine a light on the possibilities. Once you understand the sensory system and how the body processes it, I will show you strategies and what is more common in the kids who are sensory seekers in kids who are sensory avoiders and we navigate that together and eventually you understand how the how the system is absorbing the environment and you can tweak the activity you can tweak the environment you can tweak how you present things to your child so the experience is more pleasant and then you build on it and little by little the child is able to tolerate a little more of this because we did a little adjusting. Right. And then the sensory system starts to modulate. And then it becomes that self-feeding cycle that makes him get better and better in adjusting to the behavior. Mm -hmm. So flashy news here. Just because you have a sensory problem, a sensory processing difficulty, doesn't mean you have to stay there forever. Mm-hmm. There are strategies not only to modulate the system today, but to also teach the system, teach the sensory system how to move forward, how to adjust faster and integrate those, those uh, stimuli a little easier. Mm-hmm. Then you can keep on moving forward and growing and being more well-adjusted for future exposures to that same stimuli. So there's hope for all our kiddos. Oh gosh, yeah, yeah. 
That's Our like sense today. issues ourselves. Yeah, today we had, you know, Avery in with the, he, he bangs on things all the time. And so this morning it was lots and lots of banging. And I basically just grabbed his hands. I had a little essential oils. I just only had lavender. I'm not even sure if that was good enough or whatever, but I was just like, do you want hand squeezes? And he gave me his hand and I just kind of squeezed his hand and he likes a, a good pressure, amount of pressure, squeezed his hands, squeezed his hands. Then he wanted me to rub his ears, but I guess he just kind of needed some type of deep input. Some type yes, of this again, this is the perfect example. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take you to a scenario for you as a parent. If you sit down on the floor for too long and your leg gets numb, mm -hmm. you, do. you stand up and you bang your leg until you can feel it back again right. normally. That's what kids that do the banging mm -hmm. have known for them. Their sensory system feels numb. It feels mm -hmm. the, the, the joints, the, the muscles, the tendons, and the ligaments are not, they cannot feel it well. So they do bang, not to annoy you, mm -hmm. not to make the dog bark when somebody else is doing homework, no. He's doing this because his sensory system is telling him, I can't feel my joints. Wow. So how can I feel my joints. I'll bang until I can feel it. Mm -hmm. So for this child, just standing is not enough to get the sensory input mm -hmm. to feel the joints in place. What he might need to do is do some jumping, mm -hmm. do some pulling, do some squeezing. Yes, that, that pressure, yeah. tight pressure gives the right feedback. This is what I'm trying to show you guys. There are ways to give the right input and the child's going to go, oh, that feels good. And then there will come a point when the child is going to actually come to you yes. and say this, yeah, please. this to me because they now understand yeah. that that is what fixes his yeah. need at that point. That's and my goal is to teach everybody how to be able to identify what fixes Mm -hmm. and helps modulate the system at that point. I love it. I love it. And so what age group does this Hi-Fi program work for? It works with all of us. Awesome. Even us adults that have our issues. We might not think we have sensory issues, but we all do. Yeah. There is that noise that you just can't stand. <laughs> that's who you are. Yeah. That is that, um, that voice of a person that you just can't see. So we all have our limitation when it comes to accepting input. Mm -hmm. If you're listening to something that you can't stand, what you do is you turn the volume down, you walk away from that situation. Mm -hmm. So you, as an adult, you've learned how to deal with that. Right. But the children haven't. And even as they grow older, we can always be tweaking these things. Mm -hmm. The tactile input. We, as adults, some of us cannot stand a very light touch. I'll take my chance to explain here. Light touch is stimulating. It opens up. It makes, you, makes your sensory system wake up. Mm -hmm. Deep touch makes your sensory system calm down. So if you do this very lightly on my face, it's eerie. I don't want it. I prefer firm. Okay. So if you want to hold, I would prefer this. Oh. Soothing to me than this. Okay. For a child, the same thing when they when they when you go to a party and people think your baby's super cute and they go, oh you're so cute. Mm -hmm. They don't want to touch the kid so so intense. So they just and then the kid grabs. Yeah. <laughs> well that was light touch and we've learned that light touch doesn't work for this child. Okay. So if you want to do something, you might want to do a hug. Oh, you're so handsome. Mm -hmm. In a very long, pressure down hug. Not a quick thing. Mm -hmm. you do it. Hold it for five seconds at least. And you say, you can use that mantra mm -hmm. to time to hold. You are so handsome. Or something like that. Right. It's you will give the right input. Mm -hmm. Tickling thing doesn't work. 
for kids who are very sensitive to their tactile system. Right. Once the parent knows that, you can even give that input to your friends. Let's say you're going to a party. Guys, I'm going to bring my son to this party, but I just have to remind you that he doesn't like this kind of, this noise is not good for him, or this touch is not good for him, or he doesn't receive it very well. For him to have a fun experience, I would rather you guys focus on this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So you, ahead of time, prep your family and your friends, and they would all appreciate that. Oh, yeah. If want to be part of your son's or daughter's life, but they don't know how. Mm -hmm. once, once they understand this is how your kid perceives it and how he performs better, they will be all in to help it be a successful experience. This works for grandparents, for your cousin who lives out of town, who comes to visit once. They've never seen your child before. They don't know how to handle your child then you can give them some pointers on, you know, he's, he's not that different from kids, but his sensory system is sensitive to this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. And then we have a much better and more pleasant experience. Oh, and that's in the way you said that, because that just really hit home with Avery is I have a friend who um, I had met and then, you know, I told her about my son. And when she came to meet Avery, she asked, she was very interested. And she's like, what should I do? And I said, she's like, can I give him a hug? And I said, yes. I go, he likes hugs. And I go, but give him pressure. Yes. Give him pressure. So she's like, I don't want to hurt him. I'm like, no, 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 no. He likes See, it. That's the thing, but she's going to go super light yeah. and reject the hug. Yeah. But and now she understands yeah. because you gave her the right information. Right. And because of that, he loves her so much because she, so he becomes, she becomes his favorite yes, because she exactly. gives him good hugs. As soon as he sees her, he knows she gives good hugs. So yes, yeah, because yeah. the good hug is the, for him is the tight one. For other yeah. kids, maybe not. Right. But you got to know your child. You got to know your kid. The uniqueness yeah. of your child needs to be stated. Yes. So yes. people around will know how to handle that. Right. I love and it. then everybody wins, right? Right, because exactly. It's, yeah, this, the end of the day. This is the idea. Everybody wins. And then they go home and say, oh, I met this amazing kid. Yeah. But he such a good, so it's good for everybody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love it. So uh, how long is the High Five program? As I said, it's self-paced. Mm -hmm. Short little videos, eight minutes. So if you are waiting for your son's therapy. Yeah waiting for the rice to cook or whatever, you can do a video. It's, it's, you don't have to do them all together. But when you put it all together and you watch them all, maybe four hours. Okay. But sometimes you want to watch a certain one again. Mm -hmm. It speaks to you. One thing that I make sure to put on that training is how to take care of yourself as well. Yes. I love the kids. And because I have amazing parents, I know the kids are well taken care of. Mm -hmm. my, all my parents, including you, are mama bears. They're going to go, I'm going to do the best for my kid and I'm going to fight for him as much as I can. So I know the kids are taken care of, but sometimes the caregivers, the parents are not always taken care of mm -hmm. because they stretch too thin. They, they have to do all their obligations and still devote time to the child who requires a lot of extra time. Mm -hmm. And I feel that the parents are not you know, taking care of themselves the way they should. Yeah. And how do I find time for that? So I give little strategies on how to give yourself your five minute break, give yourself, yourself your five minute recharge. I, I am all about little strategies. Mm -hmm. like take, if you're anxious because you're going to the dentist with your child and you know, taking a kid with behavior issues and sensory issues to the dentist, is nightmare. Oh, it has anxiety the day before. Yeah. I teach them something very simple. After you do all your social stories, all the things that we've known to do, now I'm going to take care of you. Yeah. You're going to take two breaths and you're going to exhale one. So you're going to go. It's two for one. Oh, so, okay. It's a little something. So mm. on your way there, Make make a note to take your mm -hmm. 
that puts you in a much better place to handle what comes. Your child senses it, that you are in a calmer place, everything works better. So I'll never forget to give you guys little strategies. So throughout the training, uh, I always want to say, take care of yourself. And now that we created this new page, I want to post things not only with the strategies for the high five sensory related things, but also for the parents. Yeah. How to recharge yourself so you can be available and the, the best of you be available to help your child. That is huge because everything you just said, you nailed it. You have to not feel guilty about spending five minutes by yourself. You know, and that's a huge thing. And um, I know a lot of other parents battle with feeling guilt for doing stuff for themselves, but I'm a huge, huge believer in self-care. So that's. Yeah. And also we don't want to become the autism police. Right. <laughs> right. Well, for some people are not ready for it. Right. Don't be dwelling on the fact, oh, he didn't even know how to handle my kid. Oh, and, and you start to hyperventilate. Mm -hmm. That person is where that person is. You don't right. have control. If you have a teachable moment, by all means, use that. And mm -hmm. But if the person is totally shut down for your teachable moment, there are plenty of other people out there who are willing to embrace the, the yes. learning. Yes. Don't get hooked on the, the fact that that person is not ready to, to listen to mm -hmm. what you say. As long as the person is respectful towards you and your child, mm -hmm. we're going to keep on moving. Right. Because otherwise you spend all your energy is being upset because this person is not ready right. to accept where you are instead of come back to where you are and this is your reality. She doesn't have to be controlling your emotions. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going to frozen it. Let it go. Exactly. Just let it go. Just let it go. <laughs> um, let's see. And is the program, so you said, in which we already answered it, but it is strictly online. Will you do any in person? What I do <clears throat> right now, because of the COVID, we decided to do this different platform, but if I have a group of parents that want to do a more hands-on experience, mm -hmm. I love to do uh, in person. Mm -hmm. We I have all the PowerPoints and I have all the little gadgets to show mm -hmm. and do in person. That is like, uh, I have a daycare who was scheduled with me just to do a training with that great daycare group. So I'm gonna right. do specifically for that group. Yes, I still wanna do this, but I wanna make it available for everybody else in the in a setting of online. Mm -hmm. but also what I, this is my goal is when I do once a month, I wanna have a conversation. Mm -hmm. And answer a Zoom class. Oh, okay. If you've done the class, you, you finish your training, <clears throat> if you've done your online training, and now we're gonna get together. If you have something that you can't quite put your finger on mm -hmm. and something that needs to be tweaked, or if you have a more specific question, you can ask it on our Facebook page, mm -hmm. you can ask it on Instagram, but if you need a more com a, a conversation, we will have time for that. Nice. That's you can actually interact. And sometimes you don't have a question, but the other questions answer your questions. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes just listening, other people ask questions and post questions mm -hmm. is helpful. And then once we have those Zoom classes, we're gonna post them. Okay. Oh, I like that. If you didn't have a chance to participate, mm -hmm. always look at them again. Mm -hmm. And my goal, this is just my dream. Let's say in a in a Zoom class, we talk about picky eaters, uh, behaviors related to going socially somewhere, or self-abusive behavior, whatever it is that we discuss, then I want to be able to catalog them into the different. Uh, categories. Let's say everything about picky eaters. I'm going to put all those questions and answers and videos in one folder. Mm -hmm. So if, if your right challenge, to, challenge yeah. right now is picky eater, I don't need you to be spending all your time looking at something else because your time is precious. Yes. So we will try to, I mean, this is me who is not very computer savvy, <laughs> super easy, but I know I'll have somebody 
somebody on my team that will help me put together in a way that we can separate things that way. That's perfect. That's fantastic. Because I think about that too. Like you just kind of want to, as a parent, like you said, picky eater, you want to be able to go straight to the picky eater. Uh, this is my problem today now. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. This is another reason why I created um, High Five. You can go on the internet and learn all about the proprioceptive system. Mm -hmm. You go there and learn about the visual system. But it's so overwhelming because when you write something down, a million things pop up. Oh, yeah. And to put it all together. So if you follow the video systematically, one, one eight minute right after the other, mm -hmm. you get the idea of the whole sensory thing mm -hmm. that it talks about in a more systematic way. I don't want parents to be going everywhere and trying different websites and trying different videos going on YouTube. If you go on YouTube looking for something, you don't even know which one works best. For right. You. you go down a rabbit hole. You spend a lot of time yeah. just looking for something. I want to be more specific. Like I have videos that just talk about sensory seeking and I go from all the different systems and how to address little things about sensory seeking, about picky eaters, everything's going to go into a more time efficient way. Because again, parents have lots to do. Yeah, They yeah. can't be cruising and just checking the internet all day long. Right. Oh, I think it's perfect. Perfect. I love it. Um, and so how much does the program cost? The program costs $120, but we have a promotion going on now mm -hmm. for $69 per person. If you have a group of five people, we have a 10% discount. Five people or more buying it together, mm -hmm. a 10% discount. So sometimes you might want to do like grandma, yeah. all the people involved in that, that child's life. Right. Because it's great to be on the same page. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Let's say if everybody does it together and you kind of, it's like a team building exercise. Oh, I love it. Yeah. We all help each other okay. because it's nice to be held accountable mm -hmm. on doing something. Mm -hmm. So if the husband and the wife or the grandmother and the mom, whoever is involved in that child's life, do it together, they kind of hold each other accountable for completing and then discuss. And then they, try, oh, I've tried this. Did you try that? Right. That makes the program come alive in your life your child yeah everyone's on the same page it's great yes everyone's on yeah, the same page including the, the teacher page. yeah <laughs> yeah I love it and so is it just a um how long so if you purchase the program is it it's forever? Yours forever forever great and then every time I have a class it's not just for the group that just purchased mm -hmm. and, and those classes are going you can be part of it and you can also access it later once you're there all the other classes mm -hmm all the other question and answers that we post you can you can get it the you same can go back and refresh her go you. back and refresh you can do yep. the course as many times as you want and you can as i say build on it because we keep on posting more things we're going to have an exclusive just for students we have a, a facebook page just just for the students mm -hmm. and we have a public facebook pages for posting and understanding what's next right what's happening and what we, we're doing but on that exclusive page, you can ask the questions and people, I'm going to answer them. Mm -hmm. You can always go back there and it's always there for you forever and ever. I love it. And I love the idea if, if you do need a little more, you have a few more questions that you have. Mm -hmm. the, the Zoom, it's, it's once a month that you'll it's do once it. Once a month, yes. Will it be a live, like a live Zoom? It will be a live, but if it will be recorded. Right, okay. So if you missed it, you, your question will probably be answered. Right. Somebody else will have that question. Yeah, that's great. I love it. This and what I do is sometimes people don't have questions. Mm -hmm. And for me not to waste my Zoom meeting, people sometimes say, I'm good. I just want to hear what you have to say. Mm -hmm. then I try to have a theme. If I'm not addressing specific questions, I'm going to address something that is globally, you know, common to yeah. see as a problem. Let's say uh, for the month of December, I addressed the holidays, the transition yeah. of the holidays. Yeah. Sometimes it's 
it can you cannot really relax because you're so tense because all these new people are coming to visit for the holiday or you have to travel with your child the transitions of the holidays can be challenging so very we, challenging we did, we did a, a, a zoom class talking about that kind of stuff and giving you strategies to deal with that so throughout the year we're going to just address different things like when summer comes it's very different than winter when it comes to dealing with the sand, dealing with the outdoors. The kids get more irritable sometimes. Mm -hmm. As I say, the glare might bother them, the sand might bother them, the gatherings and the loud music and the loud get togethers mm -hmm. might bother them more so than in the winter. Mm -hmm. For us Floridians, we kind of, we have winter and summer all together year round, but in other parts of the country, it's a very, distinct change mm -hmm. with winter summer summer and the kids with behavior issues and sensory difficulties they feel the difference that's and that's that is you just nailed it because I and I of all these years I've just kind of put my finger on it with Avery with the winter time that is our our winter time it's the sensory with the long sleeves and the pants. He is a Florida boy. He wants to be in shorts and a t-shirt all the and time. And barefoot. And barefoot. And so our biggest uh, issues we've had over this winter is pants and long sleeves. And, and shoes. And shoes. Yes. And shoes. He, but yeah. he's not trying to be ugly. He's right. not trying to push a button. Mm -hmm. Sensory system has a harder time modulating winter. Right. Once we understand that, the light bulb goes on and go, ah, yeah. Well, if this is the deal, this is how I'm gonna address it. Yeah. Once you can pinpoint what the issue is with modulating the the what comes from the environment, then life becomes easier. Yeah. That's the point. When you just say, what's the matter with this kid? What's going on? I don't understand. Well, when you step back a little and you try to understand the system mm -hmm. and how the body is immersed in that environment, that's when you start to see, aha, uh -huh, I see that. Yeah, I got you figured out. Yeah. That's my <laughs> I got this. Yeah. You know, that, that's when things happen. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I started, um, you know, I've been started some of the program and I absolutely love it. I think this is fantastic. And as a mom with a almost adult child with special needs, I, I think this is fantastic. And like I said, I love everything about it. I love that you can work at your own pace. I love now realizing that you can go back. You have this forever for your refresher, your live, your Zooms that you're going to have once a month. Because I always have questions every time I see you about something. And <laughs> And so it's great. So well, life happens every single day. Every single day. Every single day. It's something new. And because you have questions, it's because you are evolving. The yeah. child is making progress. So you fix the old issues. Yeah. You have new issues. That means you're moving forward. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That means you're growing. The kid is growing, <laughs> getting new skills. Yeah. So the problems of a toddler are no longer. You have right. different problems. Yes. So we yes. need different solutions mean we're growing and the kids are growing. Yes. I love it. Well, I love this. And at the end of this video, I will link the website where you can find high five program, Instagram, Facebook, all the information, all about it. Um, I want to thank you so much, Christy, for joining us joining me this morning. Um, like I said, I'm so honored to have you as my first guest. So thank you so much. And I'm just going to end recording now. Okay, just a moment here. Oh, <laughs> yes. As a way to say thank you, I want to let you guys know that for the next three or four days, whatever Tanya decides, yes. we will, uh, if you like our page, if you go there on our Instagram or Facebook and leave your information. We're gonna do a drawing for um, a high five program, free access. So if you wanna do it, just join us. That's great, yes. And so with the drawing, all you have to do is like, like the page, 
or put your email information in, contact information. I love it. Uh -huh. And Tanya will be responsible for yes, organizing. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I'll list. give more details. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'll give I'll give a few more details uh, the closer it gets yeah in the next few okay. days before um, yeah I love it a free thank you very much for having me I had fun talking to you thank you so much Christy.